up until a few days ago, uh, I've always thought of a middle-aged man as a 50-year-old that has gray hair and stuff like that. And, you know, I was wrong. And probably some of you guys also thought that. But we're wrong, guys. Okay? Uh, globally, the life expectancy of a man is 71 years old. And in the U.S., it's 76. So not much better. Uh, regardless, even in the U.S., 76 years old is our general life expectancy as men if we live a decently normal life that's moderately healthy, which means that middle-aged is actually 38. And globally, middle-aged is actually 35. And it's hard to hear because I'm 33. I'm about to be 34. I never thought of myself as a middle-aged man or approaching middle-aged, you know? I still feel, and I'm sure most of us do, like I just blinked and I was just in college, you know? I was just 21 years old. I, I remember how happy I was being able to drink for the first time. Like, it just happened so fast. And that just lets me know that I'm going to blink again and be 44 and then 54. It's just eye-opening to know that I likely already have lived half of my life. So the that half of my life that I've lived, I only have half of it left. And I feel like it went by pretty fast. And I'm probably already past middle age, to be honest, because I didn't live healthy at all in my 20s. I was drinking a lot of alcohol for a decade. I was in the military, which was really rough on my body. So maybe this makes sense why a lot of us in our 30s, our backs hurt, our joints hurt. We probably have a little bit of arthritis. I know I have some. It's just so crazy to think about that in 100 years, I'll be dead for sure. Everyone watching this, all of you guys will be dead. All of our children will very, very likely have passed on already. And our grandchildren will be in their 70s and 80s. And their only memory of us, if we're lucky, is the last few years of our, li of our life. So they won't remember us like this in our prime, I guess. I don't know if this is <laughs> my prime. I guess it is because uh, I'm like more aware now. But yeah, they'll remember us as old people and that'll be the only thing left of us really how many of you guys know your grandma's parents maybe you met them once when you were a young child but 99 percent of us don't know our grandparents parents so eventually unless you're george washington or somebody like that that's it like we just we just don't exist anymore even in the minds of our family members it's eye-opening man so I've been thinking for like the last few days, like, because at first you're like, oh, well, what's the point then, you know? Because when you think about it, like life in general, and I know there's people that are religious and that's, that's awesome. I think religion, for many reasons, is a beautiful thing to believe in something bigger than yourself. And I'm not saying that doesn't exist. Maybe it does. Um, I, 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 I don't know personally. Um, I really hope it does. That'd be great because if it doesn't, then that means that our life is just a flash of light in eternal darkness because our personal timeline when you think about it we don't remember anything before we were born it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't exist we didn't exist our, we weren't there consciously some people believe in reincarnation and stuff but the, i think the fact is that we don't remember even if that is a real thing eternal darkness then we're born this life goes by so fast and then maybe eternal darkness again that's it it's over we are a flash of light so uh i spent the last three days a little bit depressed about this and i finally come around to decide to make a video about it because i guess the only takeaway i have at this point i'll probably make an update on my second channel is that uh i gotta start waking up a little bit earlier man you know when we wake up early and we're like nah, i'll just snooze in for an extra couple hours I feel like I have to take more advantage of every single day. Every single day. And then, you know, it's a catch-22 as well because if I do that, if I wake up early, if we wake up early and we take advantage more of the day instead of getting that extra hour of sleep, do we shorten our life expectancy for some more memories? Do we become more middle-aged, closer to our deaths, our natural deaths, if you're lucky? I don't know. Is it worth it? I think it is. And I think that's 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 what how I'm going to live from now on because I, I'm probably already past 
middle-aged a little bit just because I haven't lived a healthy life. I don't drink anymore. I drink maybe one or two drinks a, a month as opposed to like 12 to 18 a day. Um, but I still smoke, which I'm actively trying to quit. Um, it's just hard when you have a toddler and you're a new father. It's, uh, it's pretty tough, man. But I'll get there and hopefully live uh, a normal, long life. Hopefully you guys do too, man. Accidents happen. I could die tomorrow. Some of us will get cancer. It's just part of life, you know. Um, but I haven't come to terms with dying I used to be not scared of death at all when I was in my 20s. I used to ride a sport bike. My worst speeding ticket was 165 miles per hour. So, yeah, I didn't I wasn't scared of it at all. Thought I was invincible. And I think this is the natural progression of life. I think as you get older, most people fear death more and more until eventually I think some people just stop fearing death and they they welcome it. And um that I think that'll be an interesting chapter in my life. Not like openly welcome it, like, okay, where are you? Not like that, but like, you know, you've lived your life and you're ready to go on to wherever you go, whether it's eternal darkness or heaven or some people probably want to go to hell if that's a real thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to go there. I don't want to die at all. So that's, that's the point in my life where I'm at. If I could freeze time at any point in my life, I would freeze it right now. I'm so happy. Uh, I'm married. I have a daughter. I got a vasectomy because I don't. I don't need any more kids. That's all I need, man. This is just such a, such an amazing point in my life. And um, yeah. I'm I'm sad that someday, um, someday it has to uh. It has to end, you know. So. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I love you guys. I hope that this video just uh, helps you make m the most of your day. Okay. Um, yeah. So I probably won't be sleeping in much. <laughs> I want to make memories. Uh, yeah. I'm not sick or anything, guys. I, I just, it, I had that moment where I realized that how short life is, you know. I thought I had some more years to be middle-aged, but... <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Disney Disney used to be too expensive to, like, and not worth it to take my daughter to or whatever, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think it's I think it's worth the money to make those memories and, and, and see the smile on um, your uh, close fa family members' faces. So, anyways, I love you guys, man.